Welcome to the demonstration of the SparkFun Inventors Kit Arduino Board. This kit is very easy to use, even if you're not a electrical or computer engineer. If you're interested in the subject, uh, feel free to buy one and try it out. It's very easy to use and teaches you a few basic things about electronics. Starting out with this simpler circuit example, circuit 1 sends a signal through its pin number 13 which causes this LED to blink for one second. This is circuit 2. It is a little more interesting. It has 8 outputs and blinks these 8 lights in sequence. Circuit 3 is an exercise in using the motor. The code can be easily modified to change the speed. This is part four, or circuit four. Propeller rotates 180 degrees. You can decrease how far it uh, rotates by changing the direction. I'll change it to 45 degrees for the, for, uh, I think that's counterclockwise, and then 45 degrees for clockwise. <coughs> Make it uh, go faster too. I'll change the delay from 15 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. Oh, it's quivering. Circuit 5 creates what is called an 8-bit parallel shift register. Basically what this means is that there is a series of logic gates that are connected to 8 output bits. Each of these output bits is going to display an output each clock cycle. Their outputs are either going to be 1 or 0, on or off. The next value of the 8-bit output is controlled by the previous. In this case, the shift register is designed to count to 250 in binary. So, <clears throat> this part I can't record my narration because it actually uses the speaker and I can't delete the audio. So, uh, this part I'm just going to record while doing it. Uh, so, I, this is a well, it's a little speaker that's connected to the pin 9 of the Adreno. <coughs> uh, it's an analog device, but the Adreno is, pal is fast enough to mimic an analog signal to the speaker. So I got it programmed. Now let's see what happens when I connect it to power. It worked. That's it. Circuit 7 lets us experiment with manual inputs. This is a simple contact push button 
with a pull-up resistor used as a debouncer. Circuit 8 uses a potentiometer, which is a dial that acts as a variable voltage divider. If it's configured differently, it can also act as a variable resistor. Circuit 9 is one of my favorites. It uses a photoresistor. The more light it detects, the higher the resistance. It is connected to an input on the Arduino, and the output is guided by code, so it is possible to make the LED become brighter or dimmer when the light is increased. Circuit 10 uses a temperature sensor to do exactly what you think a temperature sensor would do. The output is constantly displayed on the Arduino IDE serial monitor. Circuit 11 uses a relay as a switch. It is a switch, basically. Every clock pulse, it changes which circuit is open and which is closed. The final circuit in this demonstration uses an RGB LED. Unlike regular LEDs, which has one input and one ground, the RGB LED has three inputs and one ground. The program controls the input levels to two of the inputs at a time. Since red, green, and blue are the primary emission colors, the LED will cycle between all possible combinations. If you notice only two of the colors are working, check to see if one of your resistors or input wires was misaligned.